Hi there, and happy October. This month, my theme is this really popular internet kind of tab theme that I've seen going around on Instagram. I saw this theme sometime in July, and that's when I knew I wanted to do it. But I'd already planned for September then, so it became my October theme, and I was very excited to be able to do it. I still can't believe it's October, it still feels like March was two days ago, and it's kind of crazy that 2020 is ending in three months, but here's to hoping that 2021 brings some great vibes. With this sort of internet tabs theme this month, I wanted to do a little twist on it, where there was also an underlying theme of like self-care and romanticizing life so my plan to do that was to every day do something to romanticize my life or to just make me happy uh, because October historically has been one of the most stressful months of my life but I want to take care of myself this month and really focus on keeping my mental health good and keeping my stress level slow and I'm recording this um a voiceover a couple of days into October and it's been working so far it's really fun to just kind of take little moments of my days and amplify them to bigger moments and yeah that's what October means to me this month and you can check out on my Instagram both all the inspirations that I just listed out in the corner there, and also how I'm romanticizing my life every day. So I think the kind of easiest spread for this month was the habit tracker, because each habit can be its own sort of tab or window, which worked perfectly. And as for my color palette, I decided to go with a more muted color palette, and to do that, I did a primary colors color palette with um, pastel versions of all of them. So, as you can see, I'm currently going over my little boxes to color them in uh, with my Tombow dual brush pens. However, I would soon realize that when you go over pen with your brush pen, it smears the black pen. So later on in the month, I learned my lesson, and I only, I did the brush pens first, and then the black pen afterwards. My habits this month were pretty simple. I had about nine that I was tracking last month, and it got a little bit overwhelming. So I chose the ones I found most important this month, which were to work out, manage my screen time, not spend any money, journal, go for a walk, and take my medicines and vitamins. The stickers I'm adding are will be linked below. Um, I decided to add them for a little bit of like design fanciness, you know, spunk up the page a little bit. Um, and also, I don't know how to properly pronounce the name of the of the sticker shop I got them from, but it's again in the link in the bio, and I do have a rep code from them, so you can save money on your purchases while supporting small businesses. This page is a fun brain dump. Um, I decided that, well, okay, backing up, um, there was a moment uh, when I was making the spread that I was a little overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. I was getting into the rhythm of school, and so I decided maybe a brain dump would help me throughout the month. Just as the month went on, I could kind of use little boxes to write down little blurbs of information. I didn't make a calendar when recording this because at first I didn't want to make a calendar in my bullet journal because I've been using one on Apple uh, on my Apple calendar because it's just easier for me to move things around as they change or to uh, see my week at once, um, but 
I did later on go and add a small calendar page in my bullet journal, which you can check out on my Instagram, and I thought it'd be nice just to see, like, into the month rather than a week at a time. brush pen codes are 020 for the yellow, 461 for the blue, and 772 for the pink red. And here's the final flip through. I hope you have a wonderful day.